everybody. So today we're going to try Strong Arm John from Hot Butcher for the World. Thank you to Hot Butcher for sending this. I will leave their website link down below. So uh, Citra, Amarillo, Simcoe, Centennial, and Nectarond Hopped India Pale Ale, 6.75% ABV on this one. Lots of hops in this one. Uh, this was packaged on 8-3-22. So let's go ahead and get it open, get into a glass, and see what I think about it. Whoa jumping out already definitely looks like an ipa there we go we'll drink some then pour the rest in there um off-white colored head uh pretty much all small bubbles from that pour about a half a finger of head color on this one uh golden straw yellow in color there's a little bit of haze on there uh but for the most part i would say it's clear uh i'm guessing that's chill haze uh a little bit of haze. Good color for an IPA. Let's go ahead and smell. Like a sweet berry. It's almost coming off as like a sweeter cotton candy. Maybe a little pine in there. Citrus. Like more of the of the rind. Like citrus oil. Man, that's about it for all those hops. Hmm. They're definitely bringing out that citrus, like that citrus rind oil uh, in there. There, There is some, like, I, I almost want to say cotton candy, but I'm going to say sweeter berry uh, that's in there. But for the most part, that's it. Let's go ahead and taste. You get that berry, um, like a, a sweet berry with citrus rind bitterness in the back end. Like that sweetness goes about until the middle of the palate and then um, that citrus kicks in. Sweetness, but there's not very much sweetness in there. It's just, it's light, because I'm thinking uh, I did two Hot Butcher reviews yesterday, and those were sweeter, but it, it is coming out. I want to say, like, a, it, it's not blue raspberry, but like a blue raspberry sweet tart, so the, the blue ones, but I would say cut off 75% of the sweetness in there. Hmm. Yeah, that, that berry really stands out in this one. I think it's, it, it's probably the Simcoe that's giving it the berry. But it does come across as also like a cotton candy. Um, this one is very drinkable. I like the amount of bitterness that's in this one versus the sweetness. Yes, there's some sweetness. You do get it, but I think it, it goes away halfway through the palate. It kind of comes back in the aftertaste, but there's enough bitterness in here that it kind of cuts that out. Um, I would probably go 4.25 out of 5. Definitely a good one. Now I'm trying to think what's on the back. So Hot Butcher puts three tasting notes on the back. Um, I want to say bitter citrus, sweet berry. What's the third one going to be? It's definitely not dank. Because I was almost going to say like a pleasant dank. Huh. I'm, I'll just say pleasant bitterness. Because I have no clue what that other taste. 
Yeah, because if I say citrus, I don't think they would put like a citrus and then like an orange because it really doesn't come off orange. It comes off more grapefruit, like that grapefruit bite uh, in the back. That's what I'm getting, almost like a tart grapefruit. But I think it's rind. Yeah, I'll go Pleasant Bitterness on this one. Let's see how bad this one is. Bright Citrus, Ripe Peach, uh, Juicy Berry. Okay, so I was kind of off. I can't believe they didn't put sweetness on here. Ripe Peach. Maybe right in that transition, I would have a very hard time. And obviously, I didn't say anything about tropical. Uh, so I wouldn't have picked that one up. I would say if it is there, it's probably in between the middle of the palette. Yeah, it's probably in the middle of the palette in between that citrus and that berry. But yeah, 4.25 out of 5. Uh, style guidelines, clean citrus, light berries syrupy that's kind of interesting on that one um none of my friends have had it uh almost 500 people 3.92 out of five let's just check to see if anybody said anything and no not really so yeah thanks to hot butcher for sending this if you can find it definitely one to pick up and try if you're into ipas like this if you enjoyed this review check out some more hot butcher reviews over here and until next time cheers